All right, it's 6 a.m. Carlos and I are at sunrise in Mount Rainier, and we're doing an elopement. And it is raining sideways and gusty windy. We're going to make the best of it. And the couple should be here in about eight minutes, I think. Um, so things we're thinking about is gear, fogging lenses, um, cold family members. Uh, I came prepared. I hope Carlos came prepared. <laughs> down, down jacket. Uh, hat to keep me warm, um, waterproof down jacket, and uh, it's a mass season, so um, still gonna get cold. But elopements are very tricky. We we were gonna do paradise on the other side of the mountain because sunrise was closed. Sunrise opened up hour an hour before we all went to bed, and so we switched up plans. Um, and then as a backup, not a backup, but we were also thinking about doing. Uh, Oregon to like Hood River, Mount Hood. Um, it ended up being sunny down there, but the couple really wanted Mount Rainier, which if you talk to anybody, they should be for it. Like we're totally for whatever they want to do. Uh, but with an elopement, you really have to roll with the punches. So if you get dealt the hand of wind, fog, sideways rain, no views, then you just got to embrace it. Um, so that's where we're at right now and tune in for some more Shots later. You can you can kind of see the wind and rain whipping through my headlights here. Hello. Hello. I can't. I don't know who you are. I'm, it's Catherine. Catherine. Hey. Yes. Um. What do you got? Should we? What do, should we do? What should you do? What should we do? You should stay warm. Watch out for the elk. Okay. And have you heard them? Is that they yeah, were? They're bugling. Yeah. So I said that, and they're like, "No, it's the wind." Oh no, that's an elk oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, you just heard him again. You're right. Go tell them you're all right. Oh, I am gonna go tell them I'm <laughs> right. Thank you. Uh, so you're gonna hang out. I'd recommend you getting in your dress and that's just what, saying we're really. To to hurry up, and then we'll jump in. Yeah, yeah. You just stay really, really warm. Okay. And then just hang out. And where were you guys thinking? Have you so scoped? So we walked down over here. Yeah. And it's about. It's like right over there. Okay. Right out there, it's less than 100 yeah. yards. So I just want to keep you as warm as possible. If I were you, I'd bring that jacket out with you, everything, right? And then once okay. we get out there, get everything set up, I'll get mics on everybody, I'll set up a tripod, and then we'll like be, it'll be like, okay, go time. And then okay. we'll do whatever you want to do. Okay. And then we'll do our thing as quick as possible. All your friends and family can run back up here, get in the car and stay warm. Okay. You can re-warm up and then we can regroup. Perfect. I think it's probably the best option. Okay. I can agree. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're here on the side of the mountain. The couple's getting dressed. And right now we're deciding what we're gonna do about light. You kinda see what's going on out there right now. The light's just kinda barely slipping through the cracks of the clouds. Um, it is really pretty, but, and we do have some visibility, which is nice. Mountaineer is mostly covered. What do you think, Carlos? Um, we still have that little slit of like opening where as soon as the light comes in, it's gonna be really nice. But who knows if that'll be like when the sun comes up. Are you thinking ceremony first or go shoot them first? That's a very interesting. I think it really depends because I feel on like what? On what the light's gonna do. Yeah, true. Because right now it's still pretty dark to do like portraits, portraits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe we do ceremony first. Because ceremony is probably going to be like 20 minutes and yeah. we'll get that shift change. Yeah. I'd be fine knocking the ceremony out and just kind of being done with it. Because it'll look good enough for me no matter what. Okay. Yeah. In terms of like, and if that gives us more flexibility. Yeah, we should do the ceremony first. That way we can be done with that. And then... Just all the friends and family can light. just get warm and then we can just go I mean at that point we could drive around we could yeah. just kind of pick spots and then we can just kind of get that big logistical thing just out of the way with I think so too okay alright so Mount Rainier has disappeared there's a cloud and fog that's just rolling through and it's even starting 
to kill the view a little bit here too. So we're gonna go ahead and head out and do ceremony. We'll work with what we got. We'll get that logistically out of the way and then we're gonna start. Um, we can do some photo shoots with the couple and family and friends can just be warm and be done, so. Man, you guys drove up in luxury. That is great. <laughs> you bring, it's like, what would the glamping version of eloping be? Like gloping? I know. You guys are galoping. Pick all that's on its own right, right there. Come on, that's a pick. That's, that's a money shot right there. I love it. I coined a term. You guys are gloping. It's like fancy camping, glamping, yeah, but you're eloping, gloping. So this rig is amazing. Look how pretty it is over there. Wait, just behind us? Yeah, they were. Oh, the we missed it? Oh, they were, yeah. You hear that? Did you see them? It was like five I heard or seven of them. Up. They were hollering, too. Oh. We heard them hollering. Yeah, they ran right down that hillside. Hey, so we're ready when you are if you want to start making okay, the trek out. I'm just waiting for Tay. Okay, perfect. What a true behind the scenes of elopement looks like. Everybody wrapped up in blankets. <laughs> Comforters. Good? Oh, you came prepared with the right jacket. <laughs> Carlos, the fearless leader. There's somewhat of a trail, Carlos. You think anybody's gonna slip and fall? <laughs> As you start slipping. The tripod will break my back. Oh gosh. Very slippery. Where are you from, Chanel? I, uh, I live in Okanagan now, but I grew up in Everett. Okay. I've lived pretty much everywhere. All right. Ireland. Ireland. Uh, California. And where's Okanagan? Okanagan, yeah. Where is that? It's north central Washington, so it's about 12 from So like Canada. above Lake Chelan? Yes. Okay. Yes, about 50 miles from the Canadian border. Great. I'm heading to Leavenworth after this. Awesome. I have a wedding there tomorrow. Oh, where at? Um, at a B&B. &B. Oh. &B. Uh, on North Shore Road. It's so pretty out there. That's gorgeous. All right, here comes the groom. Brad's still back at the rig. But it still looks good. <laughs> So we're heading out to the ceremony site and now I'm gonna show you some shots from the ceremony. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Thank you. Carrie, please repeat after me. I carry take you Catherine to be my wife. I carry take you Catherine to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. To show you a little behind the scenes of editing a ceremony. When doing a ceremony, you're dealing with the videographer, possibly, right? And the photographer. So something I wanna show you here is if you notice the photographers in this shot, um, what I tell photographers when I work with them is I say, hey, I'm gonna set up a tripod in the back. Does that work for you? And then we determine a distance that's right for them so that they can still get really good wide shots. And then I tell them, hey, do whatever you want and I will literally work it over in the editing floor and I can do as much as I can to make you disappear. So here's an example of making Carlos, the photographer, disappear. So there is no problem that he got in front of the camera. Um, it's my job now to kind of clean things up because I want, I want to get a great film for the couple and I want the couple also to get great photography and so I don't want to limit the photographer in any way. And so this is an example of where I essentially masked over the photographer. So masking is where I'm essentially laying this clip that you're seeing right here on top of Carlos and then I bring the other clip up behind it, right? So when I get rid of this mask, Carlos is there. When I add it, he's gone. So it's really good in this shot. You don't see Carlos, you see the family, you see the friends, everything. So there's no distraction, but yet Carlos was able to get good shots. So there's my little tidbit. Hopefully that's helpful for you to know there is power in video where I can hide people and make it look and feel like we weren't there when you watched the video. So the ceremony just ended and now we're grabbing some family photography right now. Uh, so you see Carlos, he's trying to get this all out of the way because we're all down there and it's going to be really easy to do this now and then let everybody go back to the car and get warmed up and then we're going to go do some portrait session with the couple. All 
right, so we're walking back up to the cars. We're kind of done here. We shot it. Um, everything kind of socked in a little bit. Rainier disappeared again. And so we're going to head down, see if we can find anything to shoot on the way out. But the big goal right now is just getting the bride and the groom back in the van, getting them warmed up. Um, it's classic, like, fingers are frozen kind of weather right now. Well. <laughs> we did it. We're soaking we wet. Again, we're heading down the mountain and I'm gonna be behind everybody else because I wanna be able to pull over and get shots of scenic stuff that I can use in the couple's film so that when I piece it together, I can kinda give a sense of space. So we're scouting at the White River to see if we wanna stop here and do some shots with the couple. Down here. Yeah, so we're thinking we're on the bridge right now. Here's the river, and we're thinking finding our way down there with the couple and getting some shots. And hopefully, that guy doesn't get mad when we go and shot. We can go right past him. What do you think he's shooting? What? What do you think he's even shooting? It didn't he even seems look to be like shooting this way, like under I know. the bridge. Maybe it's a bridge. I don't know. Maybe there's a troll under there. What do you think, trail? Okay. Used to be a trail? You know, champagne at 8.30 in the morning. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Just drinks. <laughs> Drinking at in the morning? Yeah, but when you wake up at like midnight, <laughs> it counts. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is like noon for you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, what do we Who do? Who cares about so, time zones? Get a couple shots here. Okay. I want to get a shot of you guys over there and then... Tell me how you feel about this. Yeah. Afterwards. Going down here. Of course. Yeah. 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 We're coming out of the woods. Me and Carlos were just scouting to see where we can get this couple. As you can see, there's not really a trail. And now we're gonna go ask them and run it by them, right? It's like, do they wanna make the trek or do they not wanna make the trek? So, there isn't really a trail, but if you guys are totally up for it, we'll plow through and make a way and get some great shots. All right. I lost my gloves. <laughs> I bet you'll find them on the way back. I know. <laughs> I'm not an amateur. <laughs> I'm just going to be here to catch anybody. We got it. Thank you. Greg. Watch out because there's like, um, yeah, slippery sticks slippery. and like stumps that got cut off that also were slippery. We made it. Thank you. Right. Made it. Made it. Dress bag. Dr oh, veil bag. What? I'm sorry, what flew off again? Here, if you want to, you can either go around or hop. Oh, I got it. Got it? Yeah. What flew off in the wind when we were just doing the ceremony? Yeah, we'll, we'll... My bouquet. Oh. oh gotcha. All right. It's, 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 it's I know. Okay, we're going to kind of veer this way. The roads, the bride is totally up for it. And now we're trying to find a spot down on the river that's going to work. Uh, she's got her veil. And let's see what we find. Okay. Just amazing. straddle it. <laughs> <laughs> In the dress. We got it. Do you think I can go to the bathroom in there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The porta potty. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Carlos, I feel like I feel like we need to make this hike in a wedding dress and heels just so we know how our brides feel. No, there's no heel. There's definitely... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm definitely... Don't slip on that rock. Oh, okay. And then I just step on Yeah. <laughs> it's disguised as like a good surface, but it could just be slippery as all get up. And these sticks are just going to be slippery as well. 
Don't need much. I just missed it. The bride totally fell. Um, you're going to want to head. It might be easier to cross right over there. Okay, I should have followed Carlos. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I maybe led some of you astray. Those Uggs are waterproof, right? Yeah. We it. Stunning. Stunning down here. Hold it right there. Like All right, let's talk about framing. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me next to this river, but trying not to fall in the river. Here we go. Um, you see that line going down to the couple, and then you have this line, horizon line going down to the couple. We kind of want to find a spot where the couple looks really good in light of these natural lines that are coming in. So like for example, if we lower our framing a little bit, if we lower our framing, you kind of see that now the couple has this nice buffer around their head. And then you have these lines all pointing to the couple. And so it's a very, like right there, it's a very aesthetically pleasing shot. So there's some BTS for you. And if you're curious where I learned a lot of this stuff, you can thank Benj Heish, who's an amazing photographer. Yeah, you guys head back to the car. Kind of look at each other and give her a kiss on the forehead. Perfect. <laughs> so they wanted the mountain in, right? And this morning you kind of probably saw in the shots that the mountain was socked in. Um, it wasn't there and we're literally driving out and on the side of the road we came to this gap and you can see the mountain just peeking through right there. So we pulled over real quick, we got some shots so that Matt Rainier can end up in a beautiful way within their film. Um, and now we have them here and actually got a shot of them. If you notice, see how, if I expose for them, like, like this is too dark, this is about right. But you notice now the mountain's really blown out, but if I scroll down now the mountain, you can't get both of them in the same shot at the same time. Um, and that's when a lot of couples are thinking about elopement locations. You have to think about the light that you're in and the light that the background is in because it just doesn't mix. Um, and so then that's where we can find creative ways to make it work. <laughs> okay. 
why we want it. So, the cool thing 